what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be working on this 2007 Chevy Tahoe and we have the problem with the instrument cluster not lighting up as you can see the lights are on the dimmer work, works as you can see it works fine but the miles doesn't show and the PRD the range for the uh, uh, shift reverse and all that doesn't work so we have a problem with the uh, display LEDs so stay tuned to see how I'm gonna fix this all right guys so right now we're gonna remove the cluster and for that we need to take off this this bezel and we have to remove this bezel too as well we have some bolts as uh, screws as you can see right there we have two screws and to take those off we're gonna use this screwdriver all right so as you can see I already took off this and it only it's attached with this clip and then we have to remove that screw and on this side you just have to pop it a little bit so you can put the, scr the uh, screwdriver in and take off the screw all right Let's keep going. So now to take off the bezel on the side, you just pull it from the top like this, like that, and it's gonna come off. It's very easy, like this. It's a whole assembly, like that. And now we have to take off um, the screws that hold the cluster right there. I don't know if you can see them. There's one. And there's two. And we just remove those. And don't forget to put the uh, the shifter down, so it makes the things easier. All right, guys. So the next step is to remove this bezel. As you can see, I, it's already loose. It's because I'll uh, take it off. As you can see, it has clips on the top, so you're gonna see it inside. And you have to push down this clip and then pull it towards you at the same time so do this on the top first and then you're gonna use the pry tool to take off the, the lower ones all right let's put that aside and now it's time to take off the bolts on the cluster and remove those things all right so as you can see the cluster is already loose and to remove it you just pull it like this and then you pull it towards you and then up here it's easy to flip it like this it's easy to flip it just just put it like this and then turn it sideways and then it comes really really easy it's already out and what we need just is to take off the the connector on the back right here and as you can see the light it's on that's because I moved the cluster but eventually if this uh, the car continues driving more it will eventually fade away so we're just gonna open the cluster and see what's going on inside all right all right guys so we have the cluster here as you can see it's time to take it off to see what's going on and to take it off you have to just use your hands or if you need a pry tool you can use it or usually I just take these things off by hand just like this solder all this so it can work nice looks like the solder it's a little bit off right there right, right 
guys. So I'm going to to sort this thing. So I'm here in the car and now it's gonna be time to test the cluster. As you can see I, re I resoldered that as you can see and it seems pretty fine, it doesn't look any burnt on that. That's that's normal for both sides to be like that. And um now it's time to test it out. I'm just gonna put it like this and then I'm going to connect the back of they connect all right so I'm gonna turn off the lights and the connector is connected everything looks good so let's open the switch and voila Woo! everything works let's make sure everything's good now let's give it a run let's turn it on see everything's good it says check from pressure but that's because the pressure is too high on the tires so everything looks good okay, so now it's time to resemble everything guys so the cluster is in the car and now it's gone going to turn around to make sure everything's good as you can see the needle went up so it means that's charge all right so let's turn it on all right everything seems good oil pressure good 14 volts that's fine that's pretty good and it's working really good, pretty good, pretty good. And now it's just time to assemble it back. All right guys, so this will be the end of the video. I hope you liked um, the process of fixing this. Um, usually on these clusters, the little MOSFET burns and the resistor as well. But in this case, it was just a little bit cracked on the uh, soldering and the only way to resolve it is just opening this and resoldering the little MOSFET. So, as you can see, it's working fine. It's been running for a while now. And now what it's left to do is just put everything back together to where it was. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.